Hey y'all, um, I was filming a video about being out in my garden. I've been doing some work in my garden, going to set it up this year. Sorry about the reflection, hang on. Uh, okay, um, trying to set it up this year to basically just have a vegetable garden again this year. And I totally forgot to like let you guys know what was going on. I kind of just started after I was already in my garden. So that's what's happening in this video. Okay, so this is my garden area now. Yeah. There's Scooter. Oh, I'm a little out of breath, sorry, because I've been uh, working out here. But, uh, so yeah, this is my garden area. I didn't do anything with it at all last year because my Lyme disease came back. So this was started two years ago. Cleared out this whole, this whole area used to be, I mean, like, like this, like bush, brush, um, kind of looking like that area. That's actually rose bushes, so that's fine. But, um... I'm gonna try and turn slowly so I don't get you motion sick. Yeah, this whole area was just nasty. So I cleaned this all out last year, a few years ago. Put this garden in here. My dad and I made these garden beds. And uh, so yeah, this is the start of it. Basically, what I'm wanting to do is here is like a little pathway that goes through. So I can walk down through here. So I can access that part of the garden. And now this is an L-shaped garden. So just, I just figured it would be um, more use of my space to do it this way. I have an L-space garden. And then I have a little pathway that I can walk through here. Come down. And then can walk back out that way. And of course, I have access all the way around the garden. And then I'm going to put some more papers right there in the middle. And this is kind of my halfway point, see, so I can step on these for when I have plants in here. Um, whoa, if I don't fall over, I can kind of walk across easily. Anyways, those are oregano and rosemary, and they're actually going to be transferred to that garden, because I think I'm going to make that my herb garden, because um, it gets more shade than this one, and I think just having a designated herb area <laughs> would be good so that's gonna be like my herb garden lettuces and that kind of thing will be planted here and on this side pretty much over here is gonna be like cucumbers and then zucchini all the way down there so i have been clearing this up as you can see on the floor there's like pine needles um we have pine trees all along the back of my yard here that hang over the garden see so it's kind of a pain. Um, unfortunately, this was like really the only spot we had to put a garden in our yard that wouldn't be taking up yard. <laughs> uh, so it does get more shade than I would like, but that's why I'm putting some of the vegetables that need more sun over there in that area because that gets the most sun. Oh, look at the pretty flower. How pretty. So yes, yeah, spring, it's um, almost April. I believe it is March 22nd or something like that. Uh, and I've been clearing this out because over the winter and over the last year that I didn't do anything in this garden, I got a ton of pine needles. So as you can see, that all came out of my garden. Um, I'm just basically trying to scrape off the top layer of the soil. I still have some more to go. There's this huge chunk right here that still needs to be taken out because uh, it's all pine needles and I would like to move them. I have a freaking blackberry bush weed growing right there which are freaking annoying. Um, that is a collard green. I had some planted here but my lizard doesn't eat them. Um, they ended up surviving. I found those two years ago and it's still surviving so I don't know. I might just leave that one but <laughs> And then uh, that is going to be the tomato potato. You can see there's some old potatoes that I never got taken in, but that's the potato bin. And then oh, down here is the tomato buckets. My dad took a giant hole, took these little buckets like that there, cut the bottom out, and put them in there so it just make it easier to do tomatoes. So anyways, guys, yeah, that's my garden. You can see it behind me here kind of show you the size of it. Um, whew, I'm out of breath. I'm still just now starting to get 
my energy back. Uh, sorry, I'm just now starting to get energy back from my Babesia infection. I've been taking my medication for about two weeks straight now, and I'm just starting to feel better. Um, but it still does take a lot out of me to work. So I'm just moving slow. Um, I've been trying, okay, let me show you. I mentioned this area here. You can kind of see I've been raking it out. Um, because as you can see here, it hasn't been raked up yet because this rake won't fit. So I gotta get probably a hoe or something. But um, yeah, those are gonna be transplanted, like I said. Um, potatoes are gonna get over here. I haven't done anything with this yet. But I'm gonna plant, I do um, sweet potatoes and regular russets and goldens and stuff like that. We'll go in here. Uh, most likely I am going to buy another, some more soil just to kind of put another inch or half an inch down across the whole bed and then add some in here. And then I don't know if this, you know, this one might need a little bit more soil too. I don't know, we'll see. Um, just kind of freshen things up. I'm doing everything organic, pesticide free, all that. Um, just kind of letting it go. I'm using um, flowers and plants to um, deter pests. So all along these little openings here, um, last year or the two years ago, I planted marigolds. Because marigolds are a very good deterrent from pests and they also feed the bees. Our neighbors in the backyard there um, have a beehive. So hey, works for us, works for them. Pollinates my flowers and my fruits and veggies and they get honey. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of it. That's my garden right now. Like I said, um, or I don't know if I said actually, but yeah, I do want to put like little stepping stones or stone pavers all the way through here. And then again, all the way through here because when it rains or when I'm watering, that gets really soggy and nasty. And we don't want that. Plus that way it'll keep these stupid weeds um, from growing. And yes, I wear my pajama pants. <laughs> Why not? So, yep, I would need to cut back again. Uh, lots of rose bush there. You can see it's it's just early spring, so you know stuff hasn't really started growing yet or doing much, but I'm working on it. I'll keep you guys updated. We post weekly or bi-weekly updates in my garden, just depends on how it's going. And yeah, that's my yard. <laughs> so, yep, that's basically what it is. Um, oh, sorry, my allergies are getting at me. So that's what I've been doing today, and. Their crows make the weirdest noises sometimes. I swear, it's like freaking weird animals. Um, but I wanna show you, I want to cut down, can I show you? <laughs> Where is it? Here, I'll do it this way. That limb, because that limb, I can't really tell from this video. That limb there hangs real low down over my garden and it causes a lot of shade. So I wanna cut that out. Um, just to kind of reduce a little bit of the pine needles and open up to give me some more shade or some more sun Say hi booter No, okay, and then the yard looks horrid because we've been battling a mole problem for the past two years <laughs> uh, So yeah, I think we're probably gonna try and reseed this summer, but we'll see Okay, I've talked way too long and I need to get back to gardening so uh Are you okay there, Boo? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you laying like that? Oh, you're so silly. Scooter. <laughs> Weirdo. 